So I had a customer come into the shop and she had 26 blocks that finished at 12 inches. When you do these cal calculations, you should always use the finished size. You can always add the, the uh, seam allowance later, but the finished size gives you the actual size of your finished quilt. So we, we went through a few things and I thought, okay, uh, five blocks across and five blocks down, five times five is 25. So that would give us, we could use 25 of the blocks and she was okay with making a square quilt and having one block extra. So what I, what I did was I drew little squares showing the five blocks across and then I always draw circles because they're faster than squares. So here I drew the, the circles are the squares for five blocks down. And then next I added the sashing because she wanted to make it bigger. And then I added the border. So these, these little lines here represent sashing and this is sashing and these two lines are the border. And so as I added those, I wrote over here that here is the width of the quilt and the length of the quilt. And as we add blocks, borders, and sashing, the size of the quilt will change. So here's what I did here. So I had the blocks, they're 12 inch finished, and I have five blocks across, so five times 12 is 60. So if we put these five across, just the blocks, it would be 60 inches. And since the number of columns are the same, our number of rows are the same, it's also gonna, going to be 60 inches in length. Next, when we add the sashing, we're gonna call it a two inch sash. So I write down sash and two inches. And then we count these little pieces here that represent the sash. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, six times two is 12. So we're going to add 12 inches to both the length and the width. And you total that together and now your quilt is 72 inches. If you just have the blocks and the sashing, you'll have a 72 inch square quilt. But we want to make it a little bit bigger, so we're going to add a 4 inch border. And I put border 1 just in case you wanted to make another border. So if we add 4 inches, so here's the, the side border and the top border represented here. So four, 4 inches at the top and four inches at the bottom is eight inches. So we add eight inches to the length and we'll also add eight inches for the sides to the width. And total that up and you get a finished quilt size of 80 by 80. And if you're just coming up with a quilt and you don't have blocks or maybe you wanted to do the sashing a different size, maybe you just wanted it smaller or larger, you would just put different numbers in here. And the calculator that I'm going to show you lets you do this instantaneously. But I wanted to show you how it works. So let's go through one really quick, just so you can see how I write this down, because it's a good idea to keep this, even though you know the numbers, write them down because you can refer to it as you're making your quilt. So now let's say we have um, blocks are um, nine inches finished and we have um, 24 of them. So 24, if you do some quick multiplication, four times six is 24, so we can do four blocks across and six blocks down. So there's one, two, three, four across and six down. So let's see how big that is. So here's the width and the length, and so the block is 20 is 9 and we have 4 so 9 times 4 is 36 36 across and 9 times 6 is 54 so now if you just set your blocks block to block in your quilt your 24 9 inch blocks the finished quilt will be 36 by 54 so let's add some sash and let's just add um, a two inch sash again. So we mark the sashing like this. Those are sashing across. So if the sashing is two inches, we're going to count the width of the sashing. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So we, we add ten inches to the width. And how I did that is one, two, three, four, five pieces of sash 
times 2 is 10 inches. Now we're going to add the sashing to the length of the quilt. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 times 2 is 14. So the sashing adds 14 inches to the length. And then we get a, a total here. So this would be 68 by 46 by 68 if we just have the sashing and the blocks. So we want to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe let's add two borders. So let's add border number one. And we're, we just put a B1. And we'll call that one inch finished. One inch. And so we're just going to add uh, one inch here and one inch here. So to the length, we have two inches. And also to the to, I'm sorry, to the width you have two inches and the length you have two inches. And then let's add a second border and let's make that three inches. So we have a second border here and a second border here. So the three inches, we find the width first, so it's three plus three on this side. Let me just mark these here. These are the borders here and the border here. So the three inch border plus the three inch border is six inches and it's going to be the same for top and bottom. So now if we add these numbers together, it says 676, 4, 54. So the final quilt will be 54 inches by 76 inches. So this is the, the process you go through and then Next week I'm going to show you how we calculate the fabric you'll need for this, but for now write this down because then you have a, a, a little road map of, okay, my sash is going to be two inches finished, my first border is a one inch, and my second border is a three inch, so this is like a little mapping or a diagram of your finished quilt. So now let's go and I'll show you how the calculator works online. First time you go to this calculator to size a quilt, you'll want to go to carolsquiltshop.com and then click on blog. And this is the home page of the blog. And for today, as I'm recording this, the sizing a quilt calculator is the first item in the blog. But after today, it won't be because it'll be it'll, another blog post will take its place. So if you look here on the right hand side under featured post sizing a quilt, click on that and that will always be there. So this is sizing the quilt and you'll want to frame it so the entire calculator is in your screen so you can see it all. And then you'll want to bookmark this site and also bookmark it on your phone too in case you're traveling around, you'll have it on your phone. So let's go through and see how we use this. Um, here is the width and the height of the block. This is the finished size, remember, so let's put nine inch block. And let's put uh, seven blocks across and nine blocks down. And this is optional. The sash in the border is optional. So right now we'll just put the blocks in, nine inch blocks, seven across and nine down. Then you click Calculate, and you'll see that the width is 63 inches and the length is 81 inches. And that's for this size block and this many blocks across and down. So let's see if we change this, the blocks, the number of rows, uh, our columns. We'll put uh, make it 6, and let's make it 5. And then we'll calculate again and it changes the quilt width and length changes. Now let's add some sashing. So let's put a three inch sash and a six inch border and then calculate. And there is your new width and length with the sashing and the borders added. So what you'll want to do now is copy these numbers here onto your sheet. When you're happy with the size of that quilt, with the sashing size and the border size, then copy this down. And you don't have to go through counting and multiplying and dividing. You can simply write it down. And then you can go from there.